Hey guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Welcome back for another video. Today, again, we're working on the Alice in Wonderland journal. And the last time we were together, we created this little piece here. Let me go back to here. So this is the fold over envelope pocket flip thing. I can't really remember what I called it to tell you the truth, but, um, what did I do since we were here? Well, I added this little vellum sticker. Uh, that's just a key. That was from the uh, little package of stickers from, I think it was AliExpress that I got. And so we've got to find something to go in here. And on this side, I did add a little piece of dictionary and one of those chipboard pieces. I added the chipboard piece on this side in particular because um, when we go to flip it up and I also added a little velcro dot um, if you can see that so just a little velcro dot to secure this to kind of hold it so you can tuck something underneath here but um, so that when you flip this up this kind of it's got a little bit of bulk it's not too bad you can still write but if you needed to you could flip it up so that if you wanted to write on this page, you don't have that lumpy bumpiness underneath, right? Okay. So what I really want to do today is I want to create, so this is a three, what is this? Just a piece of scrap card stock that I have. And it is three and a half by five and a quarter. Is that going to fit or is that too tall? should fit in this little pocket here so yeah that'll fit nicely in there and what i want to do is have something peeking through this window now i also want to take my art glitter glue and just glue this leaf down just so it doesn't get caught and rip because that is not cool if it does let's try and avoid that so we'll just glue that to the acetate of the envelope it's a little dirty, but that's okay. I don't know what that is. Ah, give us a character. <laughs> okay. It might be on the inside. Oh, it's actually on the piece of paper underneath. So that's okay. It was just this little blemish. We're going to cover that up. That's not going to matter. Okay. So I want something to slide into here and peek through. And what I was thinking about is one of these images i was actually thinking of this very debonair rabbit i think he would look very handsome kind of poking through that little window so i'm going to use him and we'll get him on this journal card we need to put something on the back and then we can put him on top okay let's figure out first if i was to tuck this all the way inside I just want to make sure I don't go any further than like I need him somewhere about where's my pencil put it away uh, so here's the envelope window so I want to make sure my rabbit kind of lands in and around here so that when I tuck this in he shows through right so just give me a little bit of an idea of where he needs to go so I'm gonna put this to the side I went through my digitals in my folder online, and this is, uh, where was it? Sorry, let me pull this up. So I have a folder in my Alice in Wonderland folder in my computer. So I have my junk journal kits, and then I have a folder that says Alice in Wonderland. In there is another folder that says Alice Berg, B-U-R-G, and Turk, T-U-R-Q, Etsy. I obviously purchased this off of Etsy, but I didn't do a good job of writing down the name of the shop. And I don't know if Berg and Turk is the name of the shop. Not exactly sure. But I printed this one out in particular because I love the mixed media background. Now, I could totally do my own mixed media background. I just don't got the time right now. <laughs> so I'm going to totally utilize this and I'm going to back my piece with this great background and I can still utilize this for something. And then I want to put this debonair bunny on top. 
Okay, Mr. Rabbit. So let's go ahead and figure out, I kind of like the brown and the teal here. So I want to ideally have it about here. Now, how do we really want to go about this? Well, let's just use our pencil and I'm going to mark kind of the size of this journal card, like so. And then I kind of know where to cut it out. And this is going to leave us some fantastic scraps, which we still need to do something with our scraps. That will have to come later after this journal, <laughs> or maybe as we do this journal, who knows. But let's go ahead. So this is a gorgeous little scrap. I'm going to keep that. Put that over there for now. And then I want to cut along this line and hopefully I don't, ooh, good. Okay. I didn't want to cut the bird, the flamingo or Alice's head. So this is great. Can definitely use her for something. We'll see. Put that over there. And then we have, I'm going to cut this little white strip off now because it'll be easier than to try and do it when I have this little teeny bit. Like that. Another great little scrap. And we've got there, we've got there, and then that line there. Like so. Okay. Oh, sorry if you can hear my stomach kind of growl. All right, so this should ideally fit the entire piece of our rabbit, or rabbit, <laughs> of our journal card. Ooh, I'm okay. And then I might want some book page down here. But let's cut out our rabbit. And I'm torn because I don't know, like I like the clock in the background, but then I don't know if I should just fussy cut him out a bit. I don't know the best way to go about that. So let's just start cutting the whole thing. I'm obviously going to have to take his lower half off. Last video I was ripping his ears off. This video I'm ripping his legs off. I'm just mutilating the poor rabbit left, right, and center. So I'm very sorry about that. Indeed I am. I do not like to harm animals. <laughs> Even if they're just printed on paper. Okay. So let's cut this one. Oh, these images are just so gorgeous. Oh, and I have, I did print out, before I forget, I want to mention this too, because this is another good one. Um, I printed out an envelope and some pockets, because um, I noticed I had these as well on my, um, in my hard drive. And oh, look at this, I love this pocket, or this envelope. I got some little cards. And so these two pieces here, look at these corner pockets, love, 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 and these little words and stuff. Um, these are from Janie B Journals on Etsy. I don't know what the kit is called. I think it's just Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I think, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But anyways, I just wanted to show you these as well. Um, I did print this on 60 pound cardstock just so I'd have some good weight for the pockets themselves. And then this is just on my usual um, fancy smooth paper that I like to use for the envelope. It's It's got a little bit of weight. It's thicker than copy paper, but not as thick as the 60 pound. Okay, so I did want to show that before I forget. Janie B Journals is another great place for Alice stuff. Okay, so let's finish cutting our rabbit out. I love these long scissors. They are fantastic and they are, I have to say, I got most of my like favorite scissors, honestly, from the dollar store. Um, now I am on day 
316, you guys, 316 days of not buying any craft supplies. Aren't you proud of me? And I could probably do another year as well. Maybe I'll do that again next year. Not sure. I do want to get one of those magic mats for my die cut machine though. I really, really would like to get one of those, but is it absolutely necessary? No. Would it be nice? Yes. So, oh, hello again, daughter. Hello. You're back. What's she up to? You're going to decorate your iPad. You're going to decorate your iPad. Okay. That sounds great. Oh, you took all the other stuff off. Yeah, okay. It, um, it kept, falling kept falling off. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, so... Now that I see this, I'm having a thought, and I don't think very often, so please be impressed already. What if we actually, we're going to keep most of him, but instead of cutting this down like I originally thought, why can't we keep this and have this as like a little tuck on our journal card, right? Another little secret pocket, a pocket on our journal card. Everything doesn't have to be down flat, so I think that would be great, but I also want book page there so do you need anything are you good you can find everything you need yes okay super all right so let's go ahead and do that can I use these butterflies? yes you can are you going to use all of them no no okay i think i have more if if you do that's fine i was just just wondering so i could do it up top here but then i'm going to get rid of that i kind of want some of that showing where would be the best to cut him? Probably right under here, under that button. Okay, here we go again, mutilating poor animals. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. But I think we could also do something with this, even though his little feet are in the bottom. Maybe no one will notice, I don't know. Okay, um, let's just use our little guillotine here. Fisker's guillotine. So I said, I think I want to go, so there's this hand. I think I want to go under this button, maybe just above that button. We'll see how that works. Okay, so then we have this. We have a lower half of a bunny with some flowers. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with that. We might, might have to turf that. We'll we see. We could use the flowers. Yeah, we could use the flowers, right? We could cut the flowers out, or I could have something kind of over top of here to cover his legs yeah. or I could just rip that out I don't know we'll see there you go Mr. Bunny I'm sorry I cut you in half uh, I want to back this on to something a little stiffer just because I mean it's not oops sorry for the screech of my drawer um, it's not bad but I just give it a little bit more weight I have these dividers here so let's utilize this piece Oh, that's got a rip in it. Is that going to be good enough there? Nope. It's got a rip it. Let's see if I can find a better piece. I have no shortages of... Oh, that's going to fit perfectly in there. Right? Yeah. So we'll just kind of cut that down. And this tab, I'm just going to cut... Well, I'm going to cut that off. I'll probably save the tab and maybe use it for something. I think that would be cool. Put the number three on the side of a page. Who knows? I know it, I just don't want it on. Like, I could technically leave it on this. But because I'm putting this in the pocket, it's going to impede on where my bunny is going to show up on the in the, on, in the window of that envelope. So did I speak English there? <laughs> did that make sense? Sometimes I wonder. Okay, let's go ahead and get our glue book and get Mr. Bunny glued a little more securely. And I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Just can't get my hands working properly. So go ahead and glue. Make sure we got lots of glue on the back. And I'm kind of actually toying with the idea of I want to sew around this just to give it a little something else. Oh, I have to have my bunny 
peeking through there. So I can't have them right on the edge. But that's okay. I think I know what I'm doing. I think, I think I do. Okay, I'll trim them out again. Let's try that again. Try to get straight. And then this way. Oh, he's such a debonair little bunny, isn't he? So handsome. This little lapel flower. Do you have this fake flower? Fake flowers. Are you talking about the ones over there? No, the big ones. The ones right there? Like in the, oh, for, for the fairy? For what we did for the fairy? What we did for the fairy. I'm not remembering, but there's, see all those flowers there? those big jars and then the flowers over there and then there's some flowers over there and no, like a room with the fairy lights and for the fairy I'm oh like the, the flowers that we bought for the costume yeah try in that bag right there I'm just gonna cut this down I might save this for something put it in my little been over there. Okay. All right, let's get refocused here. Otherwise, it's going to take us an hour to do a journal card, which it very well still could do. We'll just take our time and enjoy the process. We don't need to rush through everything. I feel like, I always feel like I need to rush and I shouldn't because I need to enjoy the process. Okie dokie. So I think I am ready to put this on here. Yeah. And then, yeah, he can go here. Like that. And then he can have a little pocket there. And then I'm going to put some book page down there. Okay, book page. What do we want for book page? Did you find what you needed? Mm. No. You're looking like these big flowers up here? Oh yeah, those. Those are the ones. For the bodice? Oh, for the, yeah, we're going to do for the bodice. Okay. Um, is that good? Do you want more? Do I have the, a white one? Do I have white ones or yellow? I think we went for yellow. Okay, can I just give you this whole bucket? Oh, I'll take my big bucket of flowers. Just make sure you bring my bucket back. I like my bucket. That's going to be pretty bulky, though, just so you know. That might be difficult for you to work on at school with all those big flowers on it. What? That might be difficult for you to work on your iPad with all those big flowers on it. No? You're good? Okay, no, I just... No, I mean, like, these, these are kind of for, like, room decorations. Oh, you're gonna take them up to your room? Okay, that's lovely. Okay, uh, well I was looking for book page and then you distracted me. No, that's all right, okay. Sorry guys, let's get some book page. This is kind of cool. I was talking about an owl though. This is kind of nice. This is from a, yes, that's a good color. Oh, it looks like my camera is doing the delay again. I don't know how to fix that. I think it has a factor of my computer being old. So my voice and the sound might not exactly match up and I apologize for that, but I can try to fix it when I edit. Try and make it line up. I don't know. Don't know if I can though. Just taking off these edges because I don't want the blank space and okay are you you're done with that you need that to put back up okay you got what you needed super duper uh yes let me just sorry just gonna grab my daughter her fairy lights yeah these are Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun decorating your room. And cleaning it. 
Now I'm cleaning it. Oh, even better. I love you for that. Bye. Can I borrow his jar? Let's see. No, that's my, sorry. That's my um painting jar. Yeah, sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's put that. Ooh, I don't know if I want death. Definitely don't want death. I mean, this is elephants, but is that really going to matter? No, it's fine. So I'm just going to kind of rip on an angle. I want it to go underneath, but not all the way to the other side. So like this. Yeah. And then like this, and then this can be a little pocket. What do you guys think of that? Oh, I'm so glad you agree. <laughs> Even if you didn't agree with me, well, can't hear you. So I'm going to do what I want anyways. Okay. Now this is, I'll show you my trick. This is super brittle paper. It's really, really old um, Reader's Digest paper. So I have this waffle flower mat. It's like an inking mat. And I just use it to be able to ink the edges without crumbling the paper any further than I need to. It seems to work out well. And then what I can do is I can just take my water bottle. I spray the, act, like, after I'm done inking, I'll spray this with the water bottle. And I can take, like, uh, cheesecloth or what have you, or white um, lace if, if I want it grungied up a bit. And then I just literally clean my mat with a cheesecloth or the lace, what have you. And then I get... The maximum amount of all my products. I'm not wasting anything. Not that I need to worry about running out of craft supplies because, oh my goodness. My museum is not dwindling as much as I thought it would for not buying any supplies for a year. Okay. I'm going to build it on here just so I can line up. It'll be easier for me to line up because I've got these marks to where the bunny needs to go. And then I'll group glue this whole thing on the cardstock when I'm done. That's my plan anyways. So let's go ahead, glue you down. Making sure I glue on the right side. Oh, I guess, did I take the, yeah. Sorry, not really finishing my thoughts, I apologize. Okay, so I hope you're all doing well. You're crafting away or you're just relaxing. Let me know if you're working on a particular project. I'd like to know if you're doing a particularly, particularly? A particular themed, that's, that's how I want to say that. A particular themed journal. Is there something you're working, are you working on Christmas? I know lots of people are. Yeah, I'm not. I guess in my last video, I'm not really big on the whole Christmas journals. Um, I just find them a little too limiting. I feel like you can only use them for a short period of time or, you know, like an Alice in Wonderland journal, you can use all year, right? Any time of the year. Okay, so I'm going to glue this side, this side, and this side. Is there anything else I want to put on here? Good. We could add lace. Do we want to add lace? Maybe we will. Well, let's just keep layering it up. That's the cool part. Oh, I've been having trouble speaking. Wow. That's the cool part of junk journals is like the more stuff you add, the cooler it is, right? Sure, you could go overboard, but that's part of the fun as well. Now I'm kind of also thinking, I'm not really in love with the 
harsh corners. So I think I'm going to with my uh, round them with my small little corner rounder. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. I don't know. I find find corners, as Julie from Camellia Craft Designs says, to be offensive. I don't know. It just gives it more of a finished look having them rounded. Okay, that's good. And then I'll round these ones after because I'll do it at the same time as after I've glued that on. Okay, let's get you on there, but I need to line this up here so I can see my marks so that I get Mr. Bunny in the right position. All right. I know this is taking probably a lot longer than it really needs to. Again, enjoy the process. Don't need to rush through everything. That's the problem. I have anxiety and I just feel like I need to go, 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 go. Like my mind is constantly ticking away. Let's make sure this is straight before it sets up too much. Um, I think that's fairly straight. Yeah, my mind is always just, you know, thinking of a million things going 100 miles an hour, and I feel like my body needs to do the same thing, and it doesn't. I need to calm down. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy what we're doing. Okay, I think that's good, and then let's glue this on round the corners and we'll see how it looks in our journal card. We also need to put the lace on. Let's glue this first. I'm going to do this with our, our glitter glue. It's already gone goopy on me. Making sure it gets somewhat close to the edge, but not too close that it goops out if I have too much glue going on, which happens more often than not. Do you, oh, come here. There we go. All right. We need to make sure we get this lined up perfectly because our glitter glue sets rather quickly. And I might be off at the bottom by a bit. That's okay. The junk journal police are not going to come for me if I'm a little bit crooked. There. Oh, I like that. And we can totally solve this problem another way. I don't know if you can see that. I've got just this smidgenous bit of white there. You can't really see it because my lighting somehow is terrible again. I honestly don't know how to fix it. Oh, you can see it there. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's my camera because I'm using like a really old camcorder, like a handheld camcorder that's attached to my shelf above me. I know most people use their cell phone. Um, I just, for me, then that means I'd have to then download it off my cell phone onto my computer so that I can edit it in my program, upload it. It just, yeah. If I use this camera, my handheld video camera, it, it um, uploads right away to my computer. I'm sure there's probably a way I could do that with a phone too, but I haven't quite figured it out. That's how you know you're getting old when you can't keep up with technology. I used to be so great with technology. Now, not so much. I definitely need to look at this side, I guess, because I got some paper hanging over. Okay, well, we'll just clean this up. There we go. And a little bit there.
Oh, I think that worked perfectly, did it? Oh, almost. Come on. Just a smidge is all we need. There we go. Huzzah. Pin in. Cap on. <laughs> Gotta remember to do all this stuff for my glue glows wonky on me. Okay, we want to round the corners again. And let's stick with the same small corner rounding. And oops. Come on. Wow, you silly thing. There you go. I got you that time. There we go. One more. Okay. What's that? You'd like a little bit of ink? Sure. I can accommodate. Oh, we want to do that lace, don't we? Do we? Do we, though? Let's double check. Let's double check and see if we still want that lace. Kind of feel like it needs something else. Okay. What do we think? Is the lace nice? With the lace, without the lace. With the lace, without the lace. Hmm. Lace could go down here. We don't have to put it on the side. Maybe let's put it down there. That kind of hides the fact that I hacked him off <laughs> mid waist. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, Fabri-Tac. This is a job for Fabri-Tac. And then this is where we gotta figure out is there a right way or a wrong way? I don't know. I don't see a difference, so we're just gonna glue it on. There we go. Just put it along here. And stick it down. And then we'll trim off the excess off the edges. There gives it a little extra layer, kind of hides the fact we hacked them in half in the torso there. That goes on there. Now Fabri-Tac does take a little bit of time to set up, so that's going to be a bit. Let's see, in the meantime, can we ink up the edges on this side? Give it a little bit of time to set up. Ooh, I like this journal card. I mean, it's taken us half an hour to do one journal card, but that's okay. We got a journal card done. Some progress is better than no progress. Hey, I'm just taking it as a win that I am in my art space right now. Because it's been a while. Cool. And what could we put in there? I mean, we could put a little... Yeah, we could put that in there. That would be cute. I'm sure I've got some other things to audition. Queen Alice. Um. I don't like that as much. But we do have this one. Same image, but in color. Yeah, we could totally put that there. I mean, these are basically the same size. Do I kind of like the... Hmm. Odd 
don't know. Okay, I think I like this one better right now. Let's see what else do we have that we can put in there. I have one of these. I think that's too small. Wow, it's gonna be too wide. Well, let's just go with this because we could do that. Just have a little piece of writing paper in there. That one has a teapot. That one has a key. Let's do that one. Okay. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent there. But we're getting it done. Uh, scissors. Trim this. Doot. And that. That is a little piece we can use for something else. Okay, I really like that. I'll ink the edges of this. Because I see I didn't do the best job of cutting. Again, I don't think the fussy cut police are going to be after me. But yet, I still worry about it, so I'm cutting it. <laughs> Just stop fussing. Just ink it. It's fine. It's fine. If y'all get this or anyone of you gets this, don't, let's not fuss too much about the shoddy fussy cutting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to get this done in time for my craft fair. So this may be used as a giveaway if I can get to that 1,000 subscriber number. I'm, where am I at? 700 and some? I don't know. It's probably still going to take a while for me to, to get to that number. But yeah, I like that. I really, really like that. I really, really want to make sure this is glued down perfectly, though. There. Oh, super cute. Really like how that turned out. And then you can do on the back. Okay. I think, I think we will, what will we do? I mean, this is my third video of the day, so, and I have to go out this evening and I still have to put on my face because I'm and some better clothes because I'm in my crafting gear so we may end this video a little early and apparently I need something to eat because my stomach is grumbling at me I'm also just kind of thinking do we need a word uh, do we I mean, we could put that over top of the lace. Let's just see. Ooh, excuse me again. Let's just see what it looks like. We don't have to use it, but let's audition it nonetheless. And see if we like it. We got time. We got some time. Oh, I also have those other words from the Janie B. Journal page that I printed out. You can take a look at that too. That really covers up all that lace though. Which way I ought to go from here? I mean, I could have it up just a wee bit from the lace, so you still see the lace underneath. Oh my goodness, I hope you can't hear my stomach. I'm sorry if you do. I don't know, I kind of like it. Okay, let's quickly take a look at this other page, because it's got some words on it. Curious, I don't really like that one. Like, I like the length of this one. And 
it's thin enough. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing is why don't we ink it up and see if that changes our mind on anything. Oh, what's buzzing? What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Do we have, oh, we have motivation, guys. We've got some motivation. What is our motivation? Our motivation is what is coming is better than what is gone. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm very much interested to see what is coming. <laughs> Looking forward to it, shall we say. I love that little motivation app. I gotta tell you, it, I think it did cost me some money, but it's been working wonders for my mental health. If you're new here, I do struggle with um, anxiety. Um, I was recently diagnosed with a major depressive disorder, which also sometimes comes with um, hallucinations, which is a good time, let me tell you. <laughs> Thankfully, knock on wood, wherever wood is, um, I haven't had any hallucinations in a while, and I actually he -he, am off all my meds. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes for now. I might have to go back on, but I just don't like that it, it dulls. The medication just dulls my sense of reality. Like I don't feel, I don't feel like I see everything in color, if that makes sense. Everything's kind of muted and always gray. Whereas when I'm not taking the medication, I feel like I can see the full color spectrum. Like I feel like my world is brighter, but then I have the anxiety and panic attacks and depression and all of that. We'll see. One day at a time, right? Okay, I do like that. Which way I ought to go from here? He's just pondering what his next step is. So that took us a while. <laughs> Sorry about that, but hey, hope you had fun hanging out with me. I sure did have fun hanging out with you guys. Let's take a look at it in our journal, shall we? See if it fit in that pocket. Nicely. Ready? Steady. In you go. How did we do? Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. It turned out so well. <laughs> it makes me happy and smile. That's all that matters. So excellent. Well, I know that this wasn't the most productive video. I mean, we only got a journal card done, but at the same token, um, we got something done, which was more than we had when we started. So uh, yeah, we just need to find something to put in here. And I mean, I have these, which from the kit that I printed. I think these totally would work. Let's use one of these. Because these fit in perfectly. Is that going to fit in now? I say that it fit in perfectly, but I don't know if I like her body hanging out there. Maybe not that one. This one has a tree, so that might be a little more aesthetically pleasing to hang out the side of that pocket. Yes. Okay, let's do that. One more thing I'm going to double check before we go is I have some stamps that I think would work on the back of that to kind of make it look like a postcard. So I haven't unpacked my stamps from my trip yet. And I'm not sure, are they in there? I mean, that says mail card. Yeah, that's gonna be, I think, too small. And you can't really write on it, right? That kind of takes the purpose of being able to write on it away. But I do think I somewhere have one that says postcard this one card postel but i think i have one that's just says postcard and that's what i want 
Let me try and find that one quickly. If not, then we'll just leave it the way it is. Sorry, that's probably making a lot of noise for you. Um, one more area to check. Bear with me. I know you can't see me. I'm off camera looking through my big old box of stamps. Because I'm worried if I do pull it up onto the desk, um, it's going to cause the camera to go all wonky in its focus. Ay, ay, ay. I got a lot of stamps that I need to I need to purge. Ooh, you know what? I really want to do one of these, an A on a page. I'm going to leave this out to remind me that that's what I want to do. And I'm not seeing the stamp that I thought I had. So I think I shall just cut my losses and leave it like that. Right? But yet I still look because I'm a determined one. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think. I do not have it. It was a figment of my imagination. Although, we can put this on. Let's do this. Let's put that on. Yep, yep. Sorry. Bending over. <laughs> Getting everything back together here. Okay, let's do that. Stamp block. Move this out of the way. I think this is, it'll just give it a little something on the back. So yeah, I kind of want it like... Let's do this. Ooh, excuse me. I'm burping, that's not very kind. It's actually really rude of me, sorry. Looking for my stamp platform stamping blocks. Okay, that's fine. This one will work, shall we? You don't need to find something else. This one will do. All right. Let's do this one first. This is my favorite ink to use. If I want a really clear stamp, this is it. And I mean, I don't need a clear stamp for this. I could probably do second generation stamping, but you know what? I'm not going to fuss about it right now. Let's just get her done. All right. There. Hopefully I didn't smudge it. Ooh, cool. Okay. And then, yeah, your guess is as good as mine on which way's up on this bad boy. Hokey diners. Uh, that looks like... I'm going to say that's up. <laughs> Just, wow. Again, another way you know you're getting old is when you can't see things that you used to be able to see. Technology and eyesight, that's what it's all coming down to for me. Oh, see, like, ink it up and then you can see it better, shall I? Duh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's put that right about there. Oh, I like it. Like it, I do. Fun. Okay. So we ooh, jazz that up a bit. Put those away. All right. So yeah, I think we are are about done here, guys, for today. I know another fifty minutes just whoof went by, but I so enjoy hanging out with you guys. It's really a lot of fun. I look forward to it. it makes my day. Oopsies, don't bend it. Gosh. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little pocket filler here. We got our little journal card and then we've got this cute journal card I am so in love with. I'm wondering if I should put a tab on the side though so it's easier to grab. I might do that out of some of the leftover um, paper that I have. Like we could make a tab out of this maybe. 
that. That, that would be kind of cool. Um, just so that it's a little easier to grab maybe, because I do have it in there a little, little ways. So something to think about. I'll show you if I put a tab on there, but isn't he cute peeking through there? So happy. All right, my friends, thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I do appreciate you. And hey, leave me a comment down below. I want to know what you guys are up to, what you think. If you like stuff, if you don't like stuff, let me know if you there's something in particular you want to see. Um, yeah, just communicate with me. It's nice to know there's somebody on the other side. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, just, you know, kind of helps get my videos out there in the world. Um, and yeah, I, I, like I said, I appreciate, appreciate you guys so, so much. Have an amazing day and PS, I love you.